Hello, I'm Ben from Agura. In this video, I would like to show you how to fill and bleed the new Magura HS11. It is important that only original Magura's royal blood oil is used because A, our five-year leak tightness guarantee, and B, function and reliability guarantee are only valid if original oil is utilized. This is due to the fact that all of our seals are designed to work with this type of oil, and a highly reliable braking system can only be guaranteed when using royal blood. In this particular case, this aspect is very, very important. In general, there are a few points to note when filling and bleeding. Point one is that we always need to make sure that the brake pad wear adjusting screw is completely unscrewed as far as it will go before we open the system and refill. After we have done this, we can open the system by simply unscrewing the screw plugs on the slave cylinder. And attaching the previously filled syringe to the M6 socket. Turning it by hand and then tightening it slightly with the 8 mm fork wrench. Then everything will be sealed off at the bottom. Next, we need to put the brake handle in the correct position. Turn the brake handle upwards to make sure that the EBT screw is the highest point in the system. It is important to pay attention to the direction of the handlebar here. If we were bent upwards, you would now have to tilt the whole bike slightly to the side so that the EBT screw is actually the highest point in the system. Now, unscrew the EBT screw from the brake handle. And use the classic syringe again at the top. It is important to make sure that the syringe is lined up with the hole. Once again, it should only be inserted through the cone at the front. Then it will seal over the cone, and you will be able to start the actual filling process. Simply push the oil from the bottom to the top. As soon as the air stops coming out at the top, Remove the syringe. Carefully turn the brake handle forward slightly before removing it so that the EBT screw slides forward slightly, diagonally, while being removed from the syringe so that no oil escapes. Then simply put your finger back on the hole. Remove the syringe and close the hole in the syringe before placing it on the side. Insert the EBT screw at the top and screw it on carefully by hand. Here, you only need to lightly tighten the screw, as the EBT screw seals off with the O-ring. So it must not be tightened forcefully and only gently using two fingers or a torque of 0.5 Newton meters. Then, give it a quick wipe and return the brake handle back to the desired position. Now we can unscrew the syringe at the bottom. Close the system again using the screw plug. Clean the whole thing and check the whole system again. We'll need to check the function. Ensure that as soon as the lever is only minimally activated, a reaction immediately takes place below, which shows that the brake is correctly filled. We also need to check the system for leaks at this point by pressing the brake lever, building up pressure, and then simply looking down to see whether the system is leak-proof and no oil is escaping. If the brakes pass both tests, that is, there is an immediate reaction and there are no oil leaks, 
All we need to do now is straighten and tighten the brake lever. Tighten the upper screw to 4 newton meters and tighten the lower screw until the brake handle can be turned with a certain amount of force. The brake will then be ready for use and the filling and bleeding process is complete.